We're done. It's over. Get out. Oh. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor. And this week I am brought back to you guys with another relationship video. So this week I will be telling you guys why your relationship ended. So if you've ever been in a failed relationship, I'm going to be telling you why that happened. What you did wrong, what happened from start to end. And I can already see the comments now. Oh my God, I've never been in a relationship. My life is over. Hada, 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 hada. This video can be a learning experience. It can help you for future relationships that you may possibly sort of, hopefully, I don't, you're probably gonna have a relationship once in your life. But let's just get right to the video. A main reason why your relationship ended was because you were too clingy. You depended upon your significant other way too much. Needy, freaking needy. You wanted way too much attention and you never left them alone and it just got to them. Everyone needs their space at one point or another, so just, just back up, back the f up. You didn't care. The relationship went from being two people to all about you. Relationships are not about a me, they're about a we. Two people. It involves two people. Or three, I guess, if you're into that. No, never mind. You need to care about the other person in the relationship, not just yourself. You were freaking crazy. You were so protective over every single thing that other person did. Hey, I'm gonna go out with my friends. Where are you going? When are you leaving? And who exactly are you hanging out with? Oh, uh, oh, uh, ah! Yeah, you tend to overreact to a lot of small things. Oh yeah, and there was that whole asking about kids thing within the first week of our relationship. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Which moves very smoothly into, you rushed everything. Uh, how many kids are we gonna have? I want a summer wedding. Do you want a summer wedding? A honeymoon in Bora Bora would be amazing. Bitch, we just got in the relationship. Calm the f down. You do not need to rush into these things. You have a whole lifetime ahead of you to do all that. When it got ugly, you made our relationship public. I saw your indirect, your Facebook status, your MySpace, whatever it was called. I saw it, I saw it. By posting personal things about your relationship online, it brings other people into it. Then all of your friends are gonna start taking someone's side. Again, relationships are about you too, not everyone else. Please keep it private. And a big one, you had false expectations. 99% of relationships are not gonna be a Nicholas Sparks novel. I wanna do all of that because I want you. I want all of you forever, every day. It's not gonna look like that, I'm sorry. Although, wouldn't that be nice? But the reality is, relationships are full of flaws. They're full of a lot of arguments and it may suck, but you'll get through it. So don't have any expectations thinking none of that's gonna happen. But really, you guys, as you can see, relationships end for many reasons. I personally think ultimately, if a relationship ends, those people were not meant to be together. For the ones that do last, sure, you'll get angry every once in a while, but that's just life. Real lasting relationships are the ones that bounce back, find the positive, and have love unconditionally. Super cheesy, but the truth. But okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, make sure you have a big thumbs up and leave a comment below. What are some other reasons relationships end? There are endless possibilities, some more dirty than the ones I mentioned. Don't be a cheater, sinner. Also, make sure to go check out and follow me on all my social media links that are in the down bar below. But other than that, I'm gonna go. Okay, so this week's about relationships and so why they ended. Oh my god, there's so many reasons someone is today. Let's see what Why can't we all just love each other and bake a cake full of rainbows and eat it?